everyone. Welcome to another episode of Java with Jim. I am Jim Phillips. I greatly appreciate you being here. How have you been this week? Had a good week? Lots of good stuff going on in your life? Do you have any challenges that you've had to face and perhaps overcome? Or are you still in the midst of, of working through them? I know my week's been interesting. It's been exciting. It's been thought-provoking. Every day presents a new opportunity for me to look more deeply into who I am, what I'm all about, what it is I'm trying to create experience in this life. And as many of you know that I take my early morning walks and it's during that time that I will contemplate what I've got going on, what I would like to experience. Maybe I'm working through a situation that I need to find some resolution with. And I'll get quotes. And this past week was no different. And I have a couple of different quotes that I wanna share with you. One came as a result of the walk, but another one is just one that I have in my book, The Key to Life Living in Full Expression, that I think will sum up a lot of what I'm going to share with you right now. But when I was walking, I was thinking about just all of the information that's out there for all of us. And the fact that we all need to discern the information to get to our truth. And as you know, a lot of what I speak about is about getting to the truth, the truth of who we are, the ultimate truth, of what this is all about. I mean, why are we here? Why do we do the things that we do? What are the experiences we have? What's the purpose behind all of that? But really moving through this progressive realization of the truth. And this thought that came to me, and especially because as I see so many things being put out in the media, social media, regular media, TV, whatever, about people saying, this is the way it is, this is the way it should be done, and then, of course, you see people posting things in social media and they'll post something that's their point of view and then somebody will respond to it. And it creates this, in many cases, angry exchange. It gets very heated. Name calling starts to ensue, which I don't understand that because the whole point of this is we should be able to have open dialogue with one another. We should all have our own points of view and be able to express that point of view without some verbal attack being waged at us just because we happen to disagree with what somebody else says. Now, of course, we need to be careful if we're the ones responding to what somebody posted that we're not doing something to inflame the situation as well. So as I was thinking about all this this past week, a, a thought came to me. And this to me is extremely important, and I believe this to be true. And I think if you have watched any of the other Java with Gems, or if you have read a lot of what I have written, you know that I try to preface, I'm not going to say I always do, but it, it's always in my mind, but I always try to preface what I say by, what I say is what I believe is, meaning that's what I believe. I'm not saying this is the truth. I'm not saying you have to believe it. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm merely just saying, this is what I believe to be true. And you can do with, with you can do what you want with that information. You can ignore it. You can say this resonates with you. You can tell me that I'm out of my mind. It doesn't really matter. But the point is, all I'm doing is expressing what I feel to be true for me. And I do it because I, I do feel that I've been given an opportunity to share information with people that could help people get to the truth. Not me telling them what the truth is. Help each other, help other people get to the truth. Which brings me to this statement. And I posted this this week on Facebook. Here's what I got. The truth will be realized by all, each in their own way, in time and i really believe that we will all get to the truth we will all realize the truth every one of us regardless of where we are or what we're thinking right now or what we've thought in the past but we'll get there in our own time and we'll get there in our own way not because somebody said this is true and not because somebody said this is the way to do it and not but not because somebody says you need to get this done now we'll all get there in our own way in our own time. Now, I want to close this with a phrase that was in my book, The Key to Life Living in Full Expression. And this really has to do with 
taking responsibility for our own lives, but also getting to the point that each one of us can influence other people by who we are and what we say and how we interact with them. But it doesn't mean that we're responsible for the other people or the other person getting to the truth. That's incumbent upon each one of us to get there in our own time, in our own way. So here's what I wrote in Fetal Life Living in Full Expression. I can inspire you with personal accounts and challenges and successes. I can inspire you with the success of other people. I can't, however, motivate you or hold you accountable for doing the things you need to do to enjoy the success in life you desire and deserve. Only you can do that. You must take ideas and information that apply and implement them. You must make adjustments and adapt as necessary. You must hold the vision of the life you want and do everything in your power to move towards its realization. In the end, nothing works if you don't. I appreciate you being with me for another episode of Java with Jim. I hope you gained something from what I said. I hope it helps you on your path to your truth so that you get through the realization of the truth. Anytime you have a question or a comment, please leave it below wherever you're watching this video, or you can reach me at jim at livingandfullexpression.com. If you want more information about me, the work that I do, want to order any of my books, or just contact me directly, you can also go to my website, livingandfullexpression.com. Again, I appreciate you. I thank you for your time. I look forward to the next time we have a chance to talk. Until then, take care and be well. See ya.